Hi everyone, now I would like to talk about hydraulic lash adjusters, LHA for short, or so-called tuppets. Basically how to inspect, clean and blend them out. Those come from Mazda 2.2 diesel engine Skyactiv-D, but you may find them in many other brands of vehicles, petrol engines as well. So let's begin with an inspection of the side of LHA. The arrowed surface shouldn't have signs of excessive wear, like deep scratches. It should look nice and smooth as this one. Now, why it is crucial to inspect and clean them once you are disassembling the engine? As we all know, the diesel engine combustion process creates a lot of contamination and gets into oil, especially those which are not warm enough. In a nutshell, where driving distances are small, then part of the dirt gathered into oil gets into HLA and causes excessive friction clogging and that leads to wear, which turns to knock noises and so on. Another important part is the top of the plunger. Here I have an example with significant wear. As you can see, the head of LHA is distorted and it will not sit tight, causing additional internal leaks. In comparison, there is another brand new parts, so you can see how worn out is the first one. Let's begin with construction of HLA. Here is our category review, well, more or less, just to show you how it operates. This is the check ball under it is return spring located inside the housing. The plunger can be moved up and down. Here is a round bar, approximately one millimeter, used as tool for releasing check ball. I've prepared three containers, two of them incorporating clean diesel and one engine oil. So by pressing lightly the check ball, we enable to move the plunger. Remember, if you use too much force, the return spring could be damaged. Then Pressing the plunger simultaneously with round bar, submerge it into diesel and move it both directions. It, it uh, acts as pump. So move it both directions until move, most of the dirt comes out. Once you want to switch uh, containers with uh, cleaner diesel, push out everything off the LHA. And now repeat the process with the second container until clean diesel comes out. Once you clean tuppets, it can be left with uh, diesel inside for a longer time to ensure better cleaning. Still, a lot of contamination comes out.
Now we'll submerge our part into the engine oil. Then fill it up with it the same way as previously with diesel. Move up and down the plunger a few times until you see uh, all the bubbles coming out of the uh, LHA. Now we need to check uh, if there is any rebound. I can feel rebound, but this one I could consider uh, as good part. This is uh, not uh, significant. But I'm gonna try one more time uh, bleeding out procedure. There is a possibility that your HLA may not uh, hold the pressure and the uh, rebound will be uh, significant, then you may consider it as a not good part. It uh, basically should be as hard as stone. and that would be in very good condition. So let's check this one. Yeah, and I cannot squeeze it and I cannot feel any rebound. So this one is good. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked video, leave thumbs up and if you don't want to miss upcoming ones please subscribe and turn on the notification button see you next time